Oh, wow. Wow, this is a tank. This is a tank. Chunky largemouth. Look at that. Today for my first uh, bass fishing trip of the year. This little pound and a halfer. I'll let you on go. Went straight ahead the boat of uh, the boat on the water. I try to. You guys can see the That was fun. <laughs> All kinds of carp up there. Right in the meat there. There he goes. Let's see how much this bad boy weighs. <clears throat> oh, it's my finger. Three pounds. Snapped a few pictures of them. Time to let them go. Oh. 
Look at the freaking face on it. Came right out. Unbelievable. Let's go get a scale on this bad boy. I just stopped the uh, the GoPro to reset the video after that last fish. So that's two fish right off that spot. Come on, batteries. Don't fail me. There we go. This is one of the largest largemouth I have caught here on Lake St. Clair. See how big she is. Five pounds. Five pounds, one ounces, guys. That is a heck of a Lake St. Clair largemouth. We're gonna let it go. We're gonna wheel back up onto that Look at that fish again, guys. Good grief, that's nice. Okay, so that was not my PB largemouth for Lake St. Clair, but it was really dang close. My personal best is just shy of six pounds, basically a six pounder. Uh, if it didn't throw up the crayfish, that it threw up in the boat. But that is one of the biggest largemouth I've caught out here on St. Clair. I backlashed my reel, uh, trying to give it some line there. It hit really close to the boat. Probably about 10, 8, 10 feet from the boat. That was freaking awesome. Let's get back on the motor and let's go get them. Oh, yeah. Got another one. Got another one. This is Smalley. This is Smalley. There we go. <laughs> Little guy. Little Smalley. Not bad. <laughs> a little pound and a half -er. Nice guy. Got a little damage on his eye from another hook. Let's get back in there. Chunker. Might be another chunker. Yeah, buddy. I found myself a little honey hole. Yeah. 
Look at those lips. Look at that inside there. They are definitely feeding on crayfish it's when it's red like that. That's usually what they're doing. There's the little guy. Lips. Got some black lips. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of dripping over my stuff now. Dang it. You know what? I'm going to let this spot rest for a minute. I'm going to come back to it before I head in for the day. And we'll check a couple other spots. So let's head on over to those. I caught something. Oopsie. <laughs> Fish on. Large rock. Got a spot going to roll into the rocks here. Come here, buddy. Going for a ride. Go for a highlight. There we go. I think I have a very repeatable pattern right now, guys. So Another two pounder, two and a half. Red lips. So what I think is going on is that the crayfish has started to come out. The water temps are in the 50s here near shore. And these bass, smallmouth and largemouth, are going to these areas where rocks come out from shore. And they're looking for these crayfish right now. I mean, I'm fishing four, five, six foot of water or less and I am absolutely having a ball. It's mostly been largemouth, only got that one small mouth. But I know of a couple other ones further down south in, in St. Clair Shores that are just like this that generally hold smallies. And this one as I get further out generally does as well. So we're gonna keep on going and see if I can get a few more. Oh, wow. Just, oh, I've been stuck in my jacket. Nice fish. So I was getting a backlash out. Or fall the bottom pretty much through this place. Another nice fish. We're gonna net this one. We're gonna have to net this one. Come here, come here, come here. Another two and a pounder, guys. This is a awesome, you know what? That's three and a half. That is a fat, heavy fish. Nice. I don't know how many fish that is yet, but I am glad I went fishing today. I am absolutely pumped that I went fishing today. Let's go get another one. Okay, this spot was not as productive as the other spot, partly because of the wind and the water color, I think. They're definitely here, so maybe this weekend we get a chance to get back out here. They'll be going again on this exact pattern. If I'm so we're gonna pull up motor. We're gonna run back to the other stop, the other spot, and make a quick pass through it. See if we can't get a, another five or six pound largey. And then we're calling it a day. Let's 
There we go. Another nice big, not big, just nice. Nice, nice, nice fish. Just fat, largemouth. I mean, come on. Come on, you gotta love this. Well, so I gotta call it just the one fish on the second trip here to this spot. Not bad. I think I wore this uh, hook out on this chatterbait getting hung up on the rocks today. That point's run over, I don't know how many times. But all in all, good day, good, all in all, good day, guys. Um, it's a sexy shad chatterbait with a gold blade, chartreuse head, and I just got a soft plastic jerkbait on the back end, back end there. Um, I wish I had the footage uh, from the second half of going out with my dad fishing. Caught an absolute pile of northern pike on that exact bait. Uh, so I'm going to pack everything up. I'm going to head on in. Get home before dark because I pain the butt to back the boat in in the dark by myself.